welcome back to the channel if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content we put out at this point we've pretty much got content going out every every 48 hours so don't stay stuck with your business and if you want to get in contact with me there's two ways that you can do that visit the description in this video and you'll be able to either book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me via zoom or you can send me any questions you may have with regards to your business straight to my email which is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com so today i want to talk about the future of the sports training industry now one of my roles in 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 the company and one one of the things i do every single day is i'm constantly researching the industry so i'm looking at what's trending in basketball what's trending in soccer what's trending in baseball uh, american football and other sports and what i do is i put together a report on on the trends so what's what's working at the moment what's not working what's trending in terms of what what coaches are offering and i, I wanted to come on here make this make this quite a short video because i wanted to talk about the future of this industry because i speak to a lot of coaches in multiple sports who are looking to break through into this industry and, and start a training business where they can start working with clients, start earning money and essentially start building a business for themselves. Now, I've been in this industry for a very long time and I can see the only way it's going, it's, it's going up. Okay, the industry is continuously growing. It's probably... I think it's one of the fastest growing industries uh, globally at the moment. And it's for a number of reasons, right? The first reason is because sports isn't going away. Sports is getting bigger and bigger. And as society in general becomes more uh, sedentary, means people are spending more time indoors, people are spending more time in front of the television, in front of a laptop, in front of their, um, an iPad, okay? and this is adults and children, the more society goes that way and the more people become more virtual, right? the bigger this industry grows because it's, it's a, a step away from the, the virtual world which we all currently live in. Okay? People are spending hours and hours on... On their cell phones, people are in front of a screen most of the day. Okay, and sport is kind of a, a way of getting away from that and socializing with other people uh, in the real world. Okay, and away from from the online um, environment. So that's one of the reasons why it's going to continue. It's continuing to grow. Uh, more and more companies are investing in projects all around the world to to help with with sports to grow it, and especially to help in sports coaching as well. There's a number of countries I can think of at the moment. The UK is one of them. Uh, Singapore is another one that I've done a little bit of research on, and I've and I've seen that there's a lot of government. Um, projects going into into sports and growing the participation of sports okay so sports and sports participation is going to continue to go up and the more people are participating in sports the more people are going to be looking for coaching and training to get better at the sport whichever sport you're in you could be in golf you could be in basketball you could be in baseball soccer doesn't matter whichever sport the more it grows the more participants get involved means that the more uh, the more people are going to look for that extra training extra coaching and extra help right to get themselves better at that sport okay now another reason it's continuously growing is due to the club system okay i know more specifically in soccer that Every single week, every single day, every single year, there's more and more teams and more and more clubs popping up. Okay, so whichever city you are in the world, I can guarantee you there's going to be 
two or three new teams or clubs appearing in the next 30 days from now. Okay, and that's because there's a massive demand for not just soccer, but for sports in general. Okay, so if you live in an area where it's very, you know, the demand for basketball is really, really popular, then there's going to be more and more basketball teams in that area. If you live in a city where, where soccer is really popular, then there's going to be more and more soccer teams popping up. If you live in an area where maybe lacrosse is very popular, okay, there's going to be more and more teams. If you live in a city where uh, American football is, is very popular, then there's going to be more and more teams and, and clubs popping up because of the demand that these sports have and because people want to get in, involved in, in sports. Now, that also goes, goes hand in hand with what I mentioned before in terms of participation. Right? The more participants that become interested and wanting to join a team or club, the more people are starting these new teams and clubs. And that in itself is going to bring a lot of opportunities for sports trainers who are looking to start private training. Okay, so if you're looking to start a one-on-one -on -one training business or you're looking to do small groups, you're looking to do camps, you're looking to do clinics, right? because more and more demand is being placed on, on more teams or more clubs, okay, those clubs or teams, okay, they will only be able to offer a certain amount of days to their athletes. Okay? Now, which means that the time they're away from those clubs and teams, okay, they, they're going to be looking for, for supplemental training somewhere else. So if you're providing a service where you're, you're looking to work with players in a small group environment or one-on-one, -on -one, Okay, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to get in front of those those uh, players and parents. Okay, because as I mentioned, teams typically train once or twice per week, and that's it. Okay, so if if kids on those teams are only training twice a week, right, what else are they doing during the week? They might be doing uh, school activities. But when they're not doing school activities, they might be wanting to do extra training. And if their club or team isn't providing that extra training, they're going to have to look elsewhere, which is where the sports trainer comes into, into place. Because if you provide a service which offers extra training, supplemental training to, to their already uh, club training, then... You know that's an opportunity for you to gain new clients and grow your client your your clientele. Okay, so this is one of the fastest growing industries uh, in the planet at the moment. I've been saying it for a while. Uh, it's 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 a, an industry which is very uh, recession proof. Okay, because no matter what is going on, you know sports isn't going away. For most people, sports is a distraction from the day-to-day. -day. And if that's the case, then people are going to go continuously look for sports coaching, sports training, or sports activities such as camps or clinics in order to get their child active and continuously improving in the sport they play in. Okay? You know, a lot of people thought the industry would die during COVID. Okay? Yes, it... It maybe went backwards, but once we got through COVID, right, the industry just flourished and continued to grow. And now it's projected that it's got, well, at the moment, it's, it's a billion dollar industry and it's projected to, to, to triple in the next four to five years from now. Okay, so if you're a coach looking to start, looking to, to get into this, this industry, Connect with me. There's two ways you can do that. Visit the uh, description in this video. Set up either a free 15 to 20 minute call with me where we jump on Zoom. I can ask you some questions about what you're doing, what you're looking to do. Okay, can, and I can show you some actionable steps. Or you can send me an email directly to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, don't stay stuck. Get in contact with me. I'm here to help uh, coaches with their, their business uh, going forward.
Okay, so thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date.